were basically all a bunch of self-taught hippies, really, but self-taught hippies living in Texas who honestly believed that if our cars broke down between the major cities of Texas, that the rednecks would just have their way with us totally. So, you know, this is, it wasn't that hard for us to come up with the story of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, is what we imagined would happen to us if, or, if for any reason we couldn't get from city to city. The safe islands were the cities, you know, the country was dangerous to, uh, terrain as far as we were concerned. Uh, Toby Hooper was uh, directing, I think Toby was about 25 at the time, I was 23. Uh, I had just finished getting my master's degree three, three or four weeks earlier before we started prepping the picture. Um, I had very limited uh, professional experience. I'd probably shot about a half a dozen commercials professionally. That was it. So anyhow, after one week of shooting, they decided you guys are not moving fast enough and uh, we're going to shut you down for a week. What you need is a shot list. You have to have a shot list prepared so that you know what you're doing every scene so that, you know, this becomes finite. You know, it's this whole conflict between in filmmaking, the art and the business, you know. The, the art would like to take years to make the film and the business says it should be done in a few weeks to keep the cost down. But anyhow, it's an ongoing conflict. So uh, they shut us down for one week after a week of shooting and Toby made a shot list. We came back the following Monday and I, I uh, arrived on the set, was given the shot list and I began to set up for the first shot on the shot list. Uh, Toby arrived about a half hour later and changed it all. And uh, fine, we just went with that. And then we went through the day as sort of as we had before. Um, second day, again I arrive on the set and again Toby shows up and he changes it. And I go to Toby, I go, Toby, what, what is going on? He goes, oh Daniel, didn't I, I forgot to tell you, we're not shooting that shot list. I just made that to get him off our backs. They, you know, they're totally they just wanted a bunch of shots. I wrote it down, but you know, I need to be in the, in the environment, in the mood with the actors, and, and, and you know, and, and that's how it develops for me. So I went, okay, fine. So now the next day, now it's Wednesday. We're, we're shooting a sequence that takes place uh, outside of the house. Um, it's after the first victim has been been taken in the film. So we shoot we shoot all the shots on the shot list, and it's she's basically sitting on a swing. It's a rather unusual swing. It's made out of railroad ties, so it's very heavy. As we finished the sequence, I had this idea, I go, you know, Toby, we had this platform dolly, which is basically had skateboard wheels on it. I think that if I were to take the camera handheld at Claire uh, 16 millimeter, or Claire NPR we were shooting with, I said, and if I hang it off the edge of the dolly in my hands and hold it, you know, I can get very low, and I think that I can fit under the swing. And so as she stands up, we'll be behind her, see her in the swing, a house very small sort of on the horizon on a somewhat wide angle lens and slowly but surely as we approach the house will grow and grow and grow and envelop the frame and, and eventually take over the frame. Her? He goes, oh Daniel, he goes, that's incredible. He'll start to set it up. And um, I start to sh set the shot up and uh, you know, the production, they come, what are you guys doing? And I go, Toby goes, well, Daniel's come up with this incredible idea for a shot. And, uh, you know, we're, we're setting it up. And they go, no, 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 you cannot shoot the shot. You're done. It, you have to stay, stick to the shot list. That's it. We forbid it. He goes, you know what? He goes, right now I'm the director and he's the DP and you cannot stop us. Maybe you'll fire us. Maybe we'll be back here tomorrow. He goes, but the shot he's come up with is way too good of a shot. And we're making the shot. And that's all there is to it. Just step out of the way. If you want to go hire somebody else, go ahead. But we're shooting the shot. And uh, the rest is, you know, is, is, is sort of history. We made the shot. Um, people talk about the shot when I was introduced to Steven Spielberg while he was shooting 1941. Um, somebody said, uh, Mr. Spielberg, we'd like you to meet Daniel Pearl. Daniel Pearl, Daniel Pearl, you shot the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He goes, he puts his arm, he goes, tell me about that shot under the swing. I'm uh, very fortunate to be involved in a project that you know, had such a great strong screenplay uh, as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And you know, that film is in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art, and, um, which also I consider quite an honor. I don't, you know, I, I have, I've won a lot of awards, but I consider that to be probably the biggest honor that I've received, a piece in the Museum of Modern Art.